Thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring a portion of today's vlog. Good morning, Monday morning over here. My husband, Dan has off of work today, so Mommy. he was able to bring. Mommy. Hello, sweet boy. Always find me, I'm right here. He was able to bring the girls Mommy. to school this morning, which was really great. So I got up and did some work on the computer and got myself ready, gave this guy breakfast. So when Dan gets back, he was gonna run to the store also. He had to pick something up and we need more eggs. I was just going over it last night and I was trying to figure out how are we already low on eggs, but it's because I made those two egg casseroles to give, that's why. I was like, how, how is it possible that we've gone through this many in literally a week, a week and a weekend? But that was why. So he's gonna pick that up. We're gonna have a nice breakfast. I actually have some leftover sausage from the pizza and we had some leftovers. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make like a delicious like sausage egg and cheese kind of thing for breakfast. That sounds amazing. I have my water. I'm about to drink my athletic greens. And then by the time Dan gets back, I'll be ready for some coffee and some food. And we don't really have any plans for the day. A lot of times when he's home, we like to go out, go to the thrift store, like just, I don't know, do something fun together. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, and the day goes quick. So I have a bunch of folded laundry on the couch I'm going to put away that I just folded uh, last night and left here. So Dan made us some delicious egg cheese and sausage, I don't know, omelet, kind of. And we got some muffins. Jude's having a second breakfast. Breakfast was delicious. Dan is actually an amazing yeah. cook. He doesn't always have the opportunity to do it because I'm home during the day, but he did dinner last night and breakfast this morning. And now we are gonna take the boys just to like a little local, little farm that has some animals and pumpkins. I still haven't gotten my like decorative pumpkins that I like to decorate with. So we'll grab a couple of those. We probably won't get the ones for carving because my girls are going to want to pick them themselves. So we can always go another time. It's still too early to carve. So we can we can wait a little bit. This is just a little, little fun morning out. Just a regular pig. And all these cute little guys. You see a feather? Yeah. Yeah. They're so pretty. Look at all the polka dots on it. Wow. Yeah, I like their little little chair. Hi guys. Mommy, we kind of have that chair, but I can do it. Get the hot dog. Hello, Hello turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's putting up his tail. They're so beautiful, though. Mommy, what we do you eat them. We do eat them. Oh, it's because of the dog. Hello. Hello. Doggy. Hello. Hi, Peaches. <laughs> Hi, Peaches. Is he muddy? He's not muddy anymore. He looks like he got cleaned. His collar says he's very friendly. The peacocks, I think, are in the back. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> On their beaks? Because these are ducks. Hello. Hi. Hi. No, this isn't electric. You can stand on there if you want. Little, little baby cow. So no. cute. Oh, that little tiny one. I know. Oh my Aww. gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. You're the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't handle it. You want back Oh, so cute, I can't take it. Aww, you can pet them. It's so nice. Yeah, I see a pumpkin growing on it. Yeah, you see a little pumpkin? So yeah. that's the flower. Mommy, what's this? Yeah, that's the little pumpkin. Uh, how do they go on the th There's a ramp. Do you see it all the way in the back there? They walk yeah. up the ramp and they can go all the way up to the top. Mm, oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. I've seen these little ones, but not like that. It looks like something that belongs in the ocean. Mommy, 
Like a what, pumpkin. Yeah, I know. Mommy, look. Mommy. What? Pumpkins. Pumpkins. And pumpkins. Wow, well, look at this pumpkin. <gasps> wow, look at that one. Look how long this stem is on such a tiny little pumpkin. Yeah, what color do you like? I like the red. And I like purple. You like the purple? We're back home from the farm. That was really cute. They had a lot of cute animals to see and the most adorable little cows. They were so sweet. And I was hoping to get pumpkins, but they really didn't have, it was very picked over with like the decorative pumpkins that I was hoping to get. And now I feel like, I don't even know, like is the season over? You know, it's already mid-October. We do eventually cook them, so it's not good, it would go to waste. I don't know. Uh, we'll definitely have to get the jack-o'-lanterns soon, you know, to do the carving. But I'm just in my boys' room, I was washing bedding, and then we're gonna do uh, lunch time soon and then quiet time Jude's playing with a, a pan. I'm sure you can hear that and I'm just working on laundry I think I've done like five loads today. It's kind of crazy But I was just finishing up all the things from the swap and then doing bedding just takes extra loads So I'm ready to be done with that. I'm almost done There's just one more thing in there and then I'll make his bed so I unfortunately we still have the window in here covered in a bed sheet because we haven't been able to put up the um, blind. Maybe we could do that today. I'll see. Dan's back is actually hurting him, so he's gonna go to the chiropractor in a little bit. So obviously, you know, if he's not up for it, that's totally fine. But I think I'm also gonna go through my girl's closet and pull out any remaining like summer dresses that they're not gonna be wearing anymore because I got a bunch of dresses at the swap. So I'm gonna pull those out and store them wherever they need to be, you know, if they're gonna be passed along or if they're gonna be hand-me-downs, things like that. I'll put those away and just kind of thin out their closet a little bit and get rid of anything that they obviously won't be wearing. out a ton of like summer and short sleeve things that will be donated and then anything that could be used next summer I put up there in that basket and then I can just assess it as we get into May I don't have to like go down to my basement to go do that I just put it there and it's much easier so I just only left in things that can be worn now and I went through my daughter's like shirts and pants and things so that is much more tidy and it only has things that she is currently wearing and then same thing on this side just basically took out anything that was sleeveless or short sleeve and and summery and just left in all these beautiful i just love seeing all these colors together it just makes me really happy so technically my cleaning task for monday is like living room or living spaces something like that but luke is resting on the couch in the living room and Jude is napping so I'm just trying to stay quiet stay productive I do have to do some more tasks on the computer in a minute but I just wanted to get this done and then I'll probably bag up these donations and just drop them in there's like various donation centers around us that have like those bins that you can just put them in so I'll probably do that on the way to school pickup I want to say thank you to Birch Living for helping to support this month of vlogging that I'm sharing with you all. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, 
and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. We all know the value of sleep, especially when you are raising a family. I have been getting up very early lately and sleep is a crucial step in that early morning process. We have had our birch mattress for over two months now and we absolutely love it. It is so much more comfortable than our old mattress and at the end of each long day, we just fall right to sleep and have a great night's sleep. I don't wake up with aches and pains like I used to with our old one. With Birch, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. So if it makes you nervous to buy a product online that you've never tested and actually spent some nights sleeping on, they do have that guarantee. If you do not like it, they will come and pick it up, no questions asked, at a full refund. It was important for me to choose a Birch mattress that is made with organic and natural materials because unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in these mattresses make it hypoallergenic, which is both allergen and mildew resistant. Birch is also committed to being better for the planet, and I love that my mattress is not releasing dangerous emissions into the air, and it's guaranteed free of harmful chemicals. So if you're interested in trying out a Birch mattress, you can click the link below to get $400 off your non-toxic mattress, plus two free pillows, and you may sleep just as well as I do. All right, I just had my smoothie, made one for Dan, and he is off to his chiropractor appointment. So I'm gonna head out with the boys and go get their sisters, drop off those clothes. I filled up, filled up a garbage bag and that's in my trunk, so we'll drop that off on our way back. And then come home, I have some ground pork and ground beef defrosting. I think we might do burgers tonight. We have tomatoes like let you know the last of the garden tomatoes so i'd like to use those and we have buns and we have cheese so we have like all the toppings which i don't always have so i feel like it's a good good day to do that and maybe make like some potato wedges for like you know like fries basically we'll have that on the side i was able to um start editing this vlog actually i had a little time this afternoon it was very quiet i had my peaceful instrumental music playing while the boys napped and I was able to get some of that done. And I'm all finished with laundry, so that is, that's a big goal. <laughs> that was a big task today and yesterday. We had a lot of laundry. All right, we are running into the library real quick because we had asked for a book to be um, transferred from another branch and it is in. So we're gonna go in and pick that up and then we'll head back home. Mm -hmm. See how they them. Hi, how are you? Uh, could I just please have two medium cold brews with extra milk? And no sugar! Yep. Right, no sugar. And, and with no sugar in the coffees. And can I just have a dozen mixed munchkins? Okay. Can I have, um, do you have just plain with chocolate frosted? Can I have, um, four of those? Mommy? Sure. Donuts. Thank you. There's six in there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, like those. Thank you. Have a good day. Mommy, like those. Um. So we stopped and got some Dunkin on the way home and I was gonna get munchkins for the kids, but they were all out, so they conned us in. No, I'm just kidding. They, I was gonna get donuts, four donuts, and then he said, well, if you get six, you know, it's a good deal. So we got a half dozen, but they're cute because they have the little Halloween sprinkles on them. So the kids are just enjoying those outside and Dan and tidying up like bikes and everything because it is about to pour. It is super gray and like getting really windy. And my brother-in-law just said that it's raining by them. So we're just gonna tidy up outside and then come in and just enjoy some time inside and get started on dinner eventually. Mommy, that's my Spider-Man cheek. It is your Spider-Man cheek. Do you wanna help me put it on? Sure. Where do they go? Judith, the new kid from down the block. The new kid from down the block? Yeah. All right. What else? Your other little ones that go on? 
All right, Luke and I are making his bed. Good job. And Dan said that he would make the burgers, so that's great. I'll probably help make the potatoes, and then we'll get dinner going pretty soon. Oh, what happened? Okay, let me help you. All right, what'd you put in these burgers? Uh, I sauteed peppers and onions. I'm gonna put an egg, put some barbecue sauce, and some old bacon we had, I just cut it up and put it in there. Delish. And salt. All right, so we got Dan's homemade burgers. Just made some home fries. We got all the toppings over there and some pineapple just because we had it. So we'll just have that on the side. Dan is getting kids ready for bed. I am just tidying up the kitchen, dishwasher's going. I am sweeping and mopping. I'm going to do all behind the island. I just cleaned off the island top and then I will sweep and mop all of this area and then all out here in the dining room as well. Girls already made their lunches for tomorrow and breakfast will probably be muffins. <laughs> we had them this morning, but they can have them again tomorrow. And yeah, it's about 7.20, so it's been a good, fun evening, and things are mostly tidied up and ready for tomorrow. Tuesdays, again, are busy days around here. It's good to go into it feeling like, you know, ready for the day. And they also picked out outfits for tomorrow. That's always an important step. All right, floors out there are mopped, and the dining room table is clean. Look at my mountain of laundry. We'll deal with that in the morning. I'm gonna take this pad off, but all these floors were cleaned and I just have lunch bags laid out. They already made them. And just have my planner out, but we're good. Kitchen is brought back to its former glory. And then I did take out my starter. I'm going to feed this and maybe use it tomorrow. I actually had used it down so far that I transferred it into a container and then I washed out this jar and I put it back in. So if anyone, if any of you use sourdough, you know that it can get, it's basically glue. When you do flour and water, it turns into glue. So it was very, very crusty on the edge. So it was time to clean it, but I'm just letting it come to room temperature and then I will feed it later. It is, what, 7.45? Kids are in bed. So I think I'm just gonna call it a vlog here. I'm just gonna take a shower and relax for the evening. So thank you all so much for watching and I will certainly be seeing you tomorrow. Take care.